In today's video, we are opening a Yu-Gi-Oh! Mystery Crate. What's up guys, we're back with another Mystery Yugi Crate and this thing, uh, it went through the ringer to get here because it is from the UK. So, uh, post office, it did, I think it made it okay, but had a little bit of damage coming through, but it shouldn't matter with the contents inside. But before we actually open this thing up, we have a giveaway. I will be giving away everything we pull out of the Mystery Yugi Crate. And we've got some pretty cool stuff. There's some, not just cards inside, there's some other like Yu-Gi-Oh accessories and stuff. So I'm excited to see what we get for this month's crate. Just like the video, be subscribed, turn on notifications, let me know down below what your favorite item is from the Mystery Yugi Crate. Let's get into the video. But before we actually get into the crate opening, I have some extra packs, including some 25th anniversary and Ghost from the Past 1. You guys know what we're looking for there. All right, we have Ghost from the Past 1. Let's go. Starting it off with a little Ghost Rare Dark Magician. Then we're going to pull one out of the Mystery Yu-Gi-Oh! Crate, right? Definitely. We have the Monarchs Erupt. We have Sun Avalon Dryas and Supernova Dragon. Very cool. Supernova Dragon is actually a decent card worth a couple bucks. So at this point, Ghost from the Past 1, that's all you can hope for. The card is not worth, you know, 50 cents or something. We have an Xyz Burst. Update Jammer, Heals and Root. We have Cosmol Dark Lady and a Sunvine Thrasher. All right, cool stuff. Now let's get to a little 25th anniversary. I've not opened many 25th anniversaries recently. We opened so much like at the very beginning, I decided to take a little break from them. But now let's open a couple more, you know, just to see if we can get that Blue Eyes Tomb Dragon. We have the Upstart Goblin, Slot Machine, Flash Assailant, Fire Kraken. We've got the Performance of Sword, Labyrinth Wall, Eternal Rest, Darth Maul. All Rucks and Special, dang it. Metal Fish, all right, we Rucks and Special past the rare, but that was where the foil would have been anyway, so it was a totally fine Rucks and Special. All right, guys? Okay, Ghost from the Past, let's keep it up. These mystery Yu-Gi-Oh crates don't tend to have a ton of packs in them. They have like, they have a few and then some other stuff. That's why I wanted to add these extra packs, just so we have a few packs open in the video, because I know you guys love pack openings. That's why you subscribe to the channel, right? I mean, probably, maybe not. It's If you didn't subscribe to the channel because of pack openings, let me know in the comments. I want to see why you would have subscribed otherwise. We have Heretic Seal, we have Muddle Che, Cosmo Joe, we have Metafoles, and the Dragoonity Glow. I mean, I know it was definitely because of my winning personality. That was definitely why you subscribe. Nothing to do with Yu-Gi-Oh! pack openings, for sure. All right, we have Medulce Pudding Sess, Time Thief Winder, Dragoonity Phalanx, we have Mass Change, and a Neshadol Genius. Not a bad card either. I think that one, borderline a dollar. And speaking of borderline a dollar, Genzo. That's more than a dollar. <laughs> Much more than a dollar, actually, even in the 25th anniversary. Uh, I guess it's not too crazy high because, you know, 25th anniversary. This is something that I wanted to make a video on that. OK, I'll, I'll do. I'll explain the premise. I'll talk about it a little bit. And if I should do a deeper video, let me know in the comments. So I have seen a lot of questions on like my shorts and other 25th anniversary videos when we put the prices up. When I pull like a secret rare and it's worth like five bucks and then we pull an ultra rare and it's worth like 12. People are like, why is why are the secrets worth less than some of the ultras? Uh, Galaxy Eyes Cypher X Dragon. And that's actually pretty interesting. There's another thing we could talk about, which is Dark Crisis and some of the prices on the 25th anniversary there that I think would make fun uh, for a fun part of that video as well. But the secret rares are actually much easier to pull versus a specific ultra rare, which is like, it doesn't make sense. It sounds kind of weird. But when you think about Genzo opening a 25th anniversary pack, you're going to get a Genzo one every two boxes, basically, because in the new ones, they've made it instead of being one secret per two boxes, it's one every box, basically, on average. And it's actually slightly higher than that because you'll get two in one box every case, usually. Uh, so there's like the crazy box per case. So that's already increased the ratio a little bit because we have a time wizard. Let's go. We finally got something ultra rare. Here we go. And as we just said, ultra rares are the rarest part of these sets compared to the secret rares. Very nice time wizard. And as I was saying about that, uh, it, it's about one per, per box. So back in the day, you would have to buy hobby retail. Hobby, you would get one every two boxes, but it would be the same one every time. So it's kind of like the same average if you're going for a specific secret, except for there's a, like a, an extra one with two, two per pack or whatever. And then you compare that to an ultra rare. Ultra rares are two per box on average still. They didn't increase those at all. So unless you get a little lucky and get a third, which can happen in the old boxes as well. So if you get two, 
per box, we're looking at five boxes to get the specific ultra you want versus two boxes for a secret. So e telly that's nice. And then shooting star. So obviously two versus five. You see the difference there. It's much easier to get one than the other. And so if you have like a nice car, like a time wizard, it's going to hold up a little better because when you have to buy five boxes versus two or even one, then you're, you know, just kind of holds up better like that. We have a uh, sunny starry, not sunny starry, sunny night. That's a new archetype. Konami, build me. So that's just like a premise of what I've been thinking about when I see those comments, but also it's just not very organized. I haven't really like written down or anything like that. It's just kind of the quick premise of it. So if you want to see a more in-depth video about like the pricing of the 25th anniversary cards, we could potentially do that. I think it would probably be pretty informative for a lot of people. I think a lot of people don't realize why there's so much different and polymerization that's Rux and special. I'll take it. And we could probably do a little bit farther into it, such as like Dark Crisis pricing right now, which is pretty insane. And maybe we'll do that if you guys are interested. All right, on to the real premise of this video, the Yugi Crate from UKBlueEyesTCG.com. Here we go. I think he sells these on eBay as well, potentially, but I looked on his website. These are $33 each plus shipping. So if you're from the US like me, it's gonna be a lot more than that. If you're from the UK, probably a lot less. Uh, or anywhere in Europe, I'm guessing. I don't know how UK to Europe shipping works, but I'm guessing it's a little bit better than US, but maybe not. And then if you subscribe to his like monthly subscription, which is these, uh, it's $31.50. So you save $1.50 if you do that. It's about 5% off. So very cool, very awesome. Let's see if we can get our money back. Let me know in the comments, do you think it's worth the 33 or 31.50, depending whatever you wanna do there. Uh, once we done, once we done opening it, once we done opening it, once we done open it, you can let me know. All right, so they're often wrapped up. So I don't know the best way. Is this candy? Get candy in here. Drumstick. I don't know if I would recommend eating candy out of a mystery box. I'm sure it's fine, but you know, it just feels a little weird, you know? <laughs> All right, next, let's just start from the top, I guess. Uh, okay, wait, that's everything. Wait a second. Uh, no, not, oh, there's a lot more. So let's go one at a time. Let's start with this. Uh, it's wrapped up like a birthday gift. You'd love to see it. We have a promo VWXYZ Dragon Catapult Cannon from Lost Art. So we can see what the value is there. All right, that's a cool card. I don't know what this is worth, but the Lost Arts usually hold a couple dollar value at least. So that's probably pretty valuable or at least fairly valuable. Probably not pretty valuable. The next item we have, I don't know what this is. What could this be? This shape, wait, this might be a promo. No, it's a booster pack. One booster pack, interesting. It's very thin, it feels like. Oh, look, look what it is. Ghost from the past, anybody? It's not Ghost from the past one, so we are opening a different set from the one we just opened a bunch of, but maybe we can have a little better luck out of one pack magic. Let's see what we can do. This is definitely a Euro pack. He's from Europe, so it makes sense. Let's see if we can, I don't know if they do two from the back, so I'm just gonna do this. Darker coloring, which is pretty cool. Agent of Creation, we have Rookie Warrior Lady. Cyber Twin Raptor, I don't know if that would be the rare or not, or not the rarest is in a magic pack, but you know what I mean. Okay, Mardell, that looks a little different. So I think that might've been the hollow slot. So no luck for us there, but pretty cool pack. We're gonna add the pack value onto the screen versus what we pull, because obviously the value is coming from the sealed pack, not like the opened pack. It would be pretty unfair to base it off what we pull. Unless we pull a ghost, then I'm sure he would be fine with that. All right, next, this has to be a booster pack as well. Last time it was pointing this way, so I'm gonna do it like this. What can this pack be? Let's see if I can tell from the back. Uh, this looks, what is this? Looks like a dimensional guardians or something but I think that's a little brighter. I don't know what this is. Oh, I was right. Dimensional Guardians poopy set. So not that exciting, but it will add a little bit of value. I think probably like a dollar, dollar fifty on this pack because these usually come in the two pack blisters, I think for the duelist packs. So not an awesome set here. Oh, we got a little spoiler back there. If you saw it, you saw it, but I'm going to flip it over just for a little bit of tension. Let's see what we can get. Rank up Magic and Cypher and Tranger. Not the most exciting pack there. Let's see what this is. It's pretty thick. Mega pack. I didn't see what mega pack it was. I didn't see it was a mega pack though. Let's see, can we get something cool? Mega packs are pretty high value packs in terms of Yu-Gi-Oh! So this should help out with the value pretty well. Whoa, why is this so shiny? Wow, is it, this what the European packs look like? Ours didn't look this cool. 25th anniversary dueling, it's gold. I love this. 25th anniversary, I don't know the value of this pack, but it will be added on. Uh, pro I'm guessing like five to six bucks, that's pretty solid. That looks amazing. I really like this. This color it looks cool. Let's see if we can pull something crazy here. Uh, Libromancer. We got uh, Ice Jade. We got Scareclaw. Exclusion. Gem Knight Quartz. Weather Forecast. The Ixo Sister Carpe Diem. We have Abilinitis, the Abyss Dragon. Remember when everybody thought this was going to be crazy? 
We have Grows the Tyrant of Thunder. Oh, we have the MBT card back at it again. That's pretty cool. The Muckraker from the Underworld. There we go. That's how you say it. Exo Sister Irene. Okay, that's uh, maybe okay. I think it's just, oh, that was too. Okay. All right. Dust Tornado, Tornado, the Double Dust Tornado Twins. There we go. Sorry, Kansas. Cucumber Horse. Let's go. <laughs> what a pull. We'll take it. All right. That's not a bad start. What's this? This is some sort of accessory. I don't know how we're going to value these. We're going to, I guess, try to find some comps for them. It's not a sticker. It feels like, what is this? Is that a magnet? Harpy Lady Sisters magnet, maybe? Put this on my refrigerator. Very sick. All right, that's pretty cool. Unique item. You're probably not going to see most other places. So that's pretty exciting. This one's pretty thick. This feels like sleeves. So this is some good value. You automatically get to add a few bucks onto here. Hopefully they're nice ones. I don't know what kind of sleeves we're looking at. We have classic sleeves, Japanese size. Very cool. All right, so uh, those look like penny, like the really small penny sleeves. So that'll probably add a few bucks as well. All right, we also got an enemy controller sticker looking thing. I think it's a sticker, econ, left, right, A, B, let's go. And then we have one more thing. This is it, this is our last item for the, for the mystery box. What will it be? Let me get this thing out of here and see if we'll get our 33 bucks back. Here we go. Okay, limited to 9995 worldwide. Individually numbered embossed metal card display stand. So we have a metal card here. I do, I think, have one of these. Okay, which one do you think you guys will be? I think I just got a spoiler, so I'm not gonna show that on the video. This looks like it might be a cool one. We have the Celtic Guardian Limited Edition Metal Card. That's pretty sick, actually. I have no idea what these are worth, but they are limited to under 10,000, which 10,000 is a lot, but it's still limited in some capacity. That's pretty amazing because look, could have bought the Platinum Blue Eyes and Dark Magician, or you can get this out of the mystery box. So that's pretty cool. We only got three packs in there, which I feel like we only got three packs in there, which I always want more packs, but having all these different accessories such as this, you know, we've got the uh, promo, we've got the sleeves, we've got the sticker, we've got the magnet. I mean, these are things you're just not gonna really find on your own usually. And they're kind of cool to have. So if you value this kind of stuff in your mystery box or whatever you wanna call the subscription box, then this is the box for you. In terms of like pack opening, it's probably not because there's only a couple packs, but it's more of like a, it's coming in monthly and you're excited to like get a few random cool Yu-Gi-Oh items. So you will see how much we made back of our money. I feel like it's pretty close to the 33 bucks and it's super fun to open. So if you guys are interested, you guys have seen the info on the screen, so you can go check those out and grab one if you want. Shout out to Tone Info Show, Dax, or Tomato Juice, Puffins of Doom, Ernesto Deanna, America Doyster, Supreme Sage 21, CJ, Liu, Gwine 62, Yu-Gi-Oh! Unboxed, and Natai Show, Ian Musa Jr. Barding, Robert F., Thomas McLean, and Changa Lang. Thank you guys for supporting the channel, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.